Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Garuda Linux on VirtualBox. So, Garuda Linux is a Linux distribution based on Arch Linux operating system. Garuda Linux is available in wide range of popular Linux desktop environment like KDE, GNOME desktop environment, uh, Cinnamon, and many more. You can see a lot of uh, editions here. And it features a rolling release update model using Pacman as its package manager. So, at first, to install the Garuda Linux and the VirtualBox, first of all, you need to download the Garuda Linux. So, you just need to go to this link. I'll give this link in the description box. And scroll down and go to the download section. And you can find these lot of additions here. The most famous one is KDE, um, Garuda KDE Dragonized and the other is Garuda Linux knob so now is a modern desktop environment which is both clean and beautiful so I always prefer GNOME desktop environment over any additions so you can download any of these and I'm going to download um, GNOME editions for now so after downloading the ISO file of the Garuda Linux now we need to download VirtualBox exe file if you haven't installed the VirtualBox in your system uh, then you can go to the this link I'll give this link in the description box so you can just go to the window dust and download the virtual box for windows so before starting please don't forget to subscribe it means a lot to me so after downloading these uh, files now you need to install the virtual box you need to go to the folder where you have downloaded that and just double click on the VirtualBox ESC file now just click on next next and we are done here it is an easy process once finished I open the Oracle VirtualBox so this is the VirtualBox interface now to set up the Garuda Linux first of all click on new and let me open the official side of the Garuda Linux and inside the download section you can find the minimum requirements for the Garuda system so it asks for 30 gigs of the hard drive 4 gb of ram and video card with opengl 3.3 or better so and 60 bit system so uh, let's match this in the virtual box so first of all you need to Garuda linux and uh, type is linux and go inside the version and choose the Arch Linux 64 bit. We know that um, Garuda Linux is based on the Arch Linux distro. So just click on Arch system and just click on next. Now we need to allocate the RAM size for the Garuda system. So minimum requirement is 4 gigs and you can allocate as much as you want as per your system capability. So let's, let's allocate the 6 gigs for now. So you can allocate gigs it will do your work for you click and create and next so we are done here now according to the official site uh, 30 gigs of virtual hard drive is needed so you can allocate uh, more than 30 gigs as for your requirement now just choose and create so we are done here the first setup is done now before uh, powering up click on settings and go inside the advanced section and set this to byte directional. Um, it will enable to copy and paste, drag and drop the files and folders within the work system and the Garuda system. Now click on system and go inside the processor. Now you can allocate the CPU for your system, Garuda system. So you can allocate up to the green mark or you can allocate up to the three or four as for your system capability. Now you need to choose the display section and allocate the video memory. Now you can allocate to the half, 62, or you can just allocate up to this green mark. Uh, it will uh, do your work for you. So let's leave it like this. Now click on the storage section and choose the empty section. And now you need to attach the Garuda ISO file here. Now go to that folder where you have downloaded that. So here we go. 
it is done here so the setup is done now you need to click on the start and now choose the boot with the open source drivers and you can view it on full screen from here so once the gyra is loaded you can see this is screen here now to install it and you need to click on install the gyra linux now you need to choose the language just choose your default language and click on next now you need to choose the time zone and where you are from so it automatically um, it is going to choose so i'm just going to click on next and choose your keyboard layout and you can test it here now um, since we are going to install the gorilla linux on the virtual box uh, you need to choose the first option erase the disk now it will going to erase that virtual i drive which was just created before you can see this here so this was the virtual hard drive of 64 gigs and i'm just going to click on erase disk and choose this swap with hibernate and now click on next we are done uh, with the partitioning now you need to type your full name and set the username and password for your device so here we go now just click on install now so once you are done you will see this pop up screen here so after closing the gorilla system now you need to go to the settings and go inside the storage section and you need to detach this um, iso file of the gorilla linux and click on ok so we are done here now we can restart the gorilla system and use it so here we go so this is the welcome screen click on ok and it will check for update and update your system automatically you can just minimize it and you can explore the gorilla system so in this way you can install the gorilla system on the virtual box so hey guys thanks for watching I'll make such video if you like, share, and subscribe my channel. I hope you guys find my video informative. See you guys in the next video. Until then, signing out.